Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. It feels so good to be sitting down and actually doing a video because, oh my God, as you can see on my past two videos, I am expecting, I am 28 weeks and I am so excited, but Jesus, I'm starting to feel pregnant. I feel so out of breath, so tired all the time. But I'm excited to finally share with you how I achieve a lot of volume when it comes to my curly hair routine and how I go from having flat curls like this to voluminous curls like this. First things first, you are going to need a blow dryer and a diffuser. This one is BST 3200. I'm going to link the I'm going to link the item down below. So if you want to purchase it, or if you want to give it a try or look into it. Uh, what I like about this blower is that it has a cool button that you can press down while you are actually diffusing your hair and it has how intense you want the heat if you want it like super low you want it medium or you want it super hot or if you just want it cool i prefer to start with cool air and then i gradually move to slow to medium heat the second item is a diffuser you are going to need a diffuser you can buy this anywhere you can buy it at sally beauty supplies at walmart um amazon i usually the first diffuser i purchased was I think it was on Amazon and it's not my favorite I am going to say that it was mm, it was a waste of money but this one I absolutely love this is from Riso Cuts and I think this is going for $25 so it's really really good and super travel friendly because you can actually just fold it like this and what I like about this type of diffusers is that it works for a lot of different blow dryers and they actually kind of like adjust I try this like when I go on cruises or when I go to hotels and they have their own blow dryers, I always bring one of these with You're me. You're going to need some hair oils. Um, this one is from the American Public. I don't think you're going to find this one here. But any oil works perfectly fine. And last but not least, you're going to need a hair pick. Um, and it will work as well. My tip number one to achieve volume is you need to have a set routine. If you don't have a set routine girl you're losing your time because you need to have a set routine that works good for your curl type and your hair type and also different seasons because for me my hair gets super freezy during the summertime so i need to start like gradually moving to a product that works good in humidity so again have a set routine that works for your hair type tip number two do not touch your hair yes i said it don't touch your hair don't touch your hair if your hair is wet. Once you apply your styler, seriously, don't touch it, okay? I'm, I'm like, when I have my hair wet, I'm like, do not touch me. Don't, do, don't, mm, no. Don't touch your hair. I know it's tempting and I know you just want to keep scrunching and you want to get that curl. You just cause it more freeze, okay? You have applied your styler, your gel, your conditioner and all that stuff. Do not touch it. Don't touch. Tip number three, try to let your hair dry as much as possible. I know that that's hard for some people. It's hard for me, especially in the summertime, the summertime, especially in the wintertime, because I get sick pretty easy, okay? So if I don't diffuse my hair right away, <laughs> I don't want to use my PTO, okay? So if, if you're like me and you get sick really easy, then diffuse your hair right away. But in the summertime, I try to let my hair air dry as much as possible. For example, for this video, I let my hair dry as much as possible and it's almost 70 to 80% dry. And the reason why I did that is I wanna show you how I go from having flat curls to having a lot of volume. Um, and again, it's up to you. If you prefer the results when you let it air dry than when you diffuse, it's all up to you, okay? I know for me, I prefer the volume when I diffuse and when I let it air dry. When I let it air dry, my hair just looks like this. I look like Luz Clarita and I personally don't like it. But again, it's all about preference. Tip number four. When you are going to start diffusing, make sure you diffuse on cold first and then you gradually go up to low and medium heat. Do not, do not, do not apply that much heat to your hair, okay? It has taken you a long way to be where you are, so do not ruin it just because you're rushing it. So take your time diffusing, do not rush it, do not apply direct heat to your hair because that can cause a lot, a lot of damages. There's a lot of blow dryers out there that are super affordable but can actually burn your hair really fast. So be careful. Tip number five, when you diffuse, let me show you. When you diffuse, make sure you are diffusing in sections. So go from section, to section so stay within one section for like 30 to a minute because if you're just jumping from one hair to the other that can actually cause more freeze 
first claimer and it is that you do tend to get more freeze when you diffuse but i personally do not mind the freeze i prefer volume over like curls like this like super defined i am more about the volume than anything else i'm not the type of person that like freeze then i don't know if this will work for you but you can give it a try it of course but yeah i just wanted to make sure that you are aware that when you diffuse you tend to get a little bit of freeze not a lot, especially if you have a set routine. Okay, so now that we cover all the aspects of my routine, let me show you how I diffuse my hair. And I'm going to do it like on a time lap because I think that will be the smartest thing to do. And I'm going to put some music and turn on my AC because I am hot, pregnant, and I'm hot. So I'll be right back. Let me show you guys how I diffuse. <laughs> As you can see my hair is completely dry now from the fusing what I'm going to do to break the cast of the gel and to minimize the frizz that you see on my hair I'm going to go ahead and apply some oil I'm just going to apply just a little bit first and see how much I need so just a little bit I'm going to put my hair forward like on a ponytail like this I make sure that I coat my hair completely with oil And I'm going to use the blow dryer again. So now I did that and I personally, oh my god, I can't see. So I'm going to have to put my glasses. The glare is a little bit annoying, but I cannot see. So I'm going to go ahead and use the hair pick now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the roots. You see how I had a line right here because that's where I divided my hair. I do not like that. So I'm just going to do this, shake it once again. And I'm lifting up the hair from the roots like this I am completely done I have to fuse my hair I have applied my oil that I mentioned and I use my hair pick to add more volume to the roots and that is pretty much it I know it sounds long but once you get it like so the tea is so easy and it just part it just become part of your routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and you were able to learn something new. If you do give this technique a try, please let me know how you liked it and 
yeah that will be all for today's video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content and i will see you on my next video